Hi, I'm Braxton. And I'm Basil. And welcome back to an all new exciting episode of, of Hawk Talk. Today on Hawk Talk, we're going to be showing you news packages. What are you doing? What do you mean, silly? We're filming Hawk Talk. No, you can't have two of you hosting Hawk Talk. I'll get somebody else, but one of you has to go. What? No, we can't choose between each other. We can't. And, Lee. and I'm Darren Lang. And welcome to an all new exciting episode of, of Hawk Talk. Talk. Say, Braxton, have you ever considered starting your own business? Oh, yeah, I was gonna make my own film company called Brax Films. How long do you think that'd take? I don't know, maybe till I'm like 50? Well, students are already starting their own businesses now. Check out this package. Here at Hillgrove High School, we asked a couple of students what it's like owning their own business at such a young age. Here are the ins and outs of entrepreneurship. Um, my brand name is Council. Um, it's a clothing brand. It is basically, it represents, for some people, it could be just like overall superiority or just being on top. And then for other people, it could be seen as just like your group, like a noun, like your group, your, your posse, or like you're just a group of like a bunch of like fly individuals. Um, I started it because I've always just been interested in like fashion, just like the, the overall like culture. I always liked like dressing nice, so I, I just wanted to make something that kind of where people can like purchase a piece of me. Um, well, my brand uh, has to do with video production and I don't really have a name right now, but it kind of deals with uh, photography, PSAs and things like that. Well, at first it was kind of like a part of the family business. Like my dad, he got into it and then I grew up around that. And then eventually I started picking things up like camera wise. Later in life, I want to expand it more and not make it a one-man job, like have a crew, and then more than a crew, make it more like it to an actual production production. You can find me on Instagram at palmerwilliams3. I take a lot of pictures, so if you want some, just hit me up. Hi, my name is Gia Tejeda. I'm a senior, and I've been doing entrepreneurship since 2016. My brand is Pretty Hair Posse and Gia's Couture Closet. Um, so Pretty Hair Posse is a brand I created to encourage young women to embrace natural hair and beauty by growing beautiful and healthy hair. Um, I sell healthy hair products and we provide an opportunity for young adults to raise funding for college in the event that their parents are financially challenged. I also host ACT and SAT study groups. And then just to a closet, um, I sell new and consignment clothing that make a fashion statement. Um, I want to grow it to become a Fortune 500 company, but I know eventually I'm going to pass down the legacy of CEO to my little sister, Mariah. So we're going to keep it in the family. Okay, uh, so follow us on Instagram at Pretty Hair Posse and on Instagram for Gia's Couture Closet. My name is Christian Robinson, also known as Kinda Fi. Um, I'm in the 10th grade and I've been running my business for four months now. My brand is Fi Apparel, Find Your Element, F-Y-E. started my brand because I used to be bullied basically for being myself. I spent years on years just rediscovering myself and finding my own element. And now I'm just going through life like it's a dream. Um, I promote my brand through um, social media and through myself. I wear my stuff almost every day. I do everything. You can look me up on all social media, at Kindify, and look for Fire Apparel in New York Fashion Week. And keep a watch out. This is Dejnik McGee reporting from Talent TV. Oh, that was really inspiring. I should probably start working with my company now. Hey, you know I can give you a few pointers if you like. I actually know a bit about film. What? <laughs> Shut the front door! <laughs> no, really. In our audio video class, we made a short film surrounding only one word, with very little dialogue. Really? Interesting. Let's take a look.
pretty artsy. I don't get it. Well, being incredulous means being unable to accept the truth even when facts are right in front of you. Oh, I still don't get it. But it was awesome either way. Well, tune in next time for more awesome content here on, on Hot Talk. Talk. <sighs> hey, Jackson, what's going? Uh, I don't know. See, you're great and all, but I used to have this one co-anchor. We were like best buds. He was like the yin to my yang, you know, but he's long gone now. Boy, I'm sorry. Or am I? <laughs> <laughs>